If you're looking for a mini helper file that provides great value for the price, then in this video I will share with you my own experience after using Telepi LP2020A more than one year. I will show you what you get in the box, what is required for the installation, I will demonstrate you the sound quality, and of course we'll talk about the pros and cons of the amplifier. So without further ado, let's start! In the box you are getting the mini amplifier and power supply. When you order you can choose between European or American power supply. Also you need cables for the speakers and RCA to 3.5 headphone jack cable. And of course you will find all the links in the description of the video. If you need help with the assembling of the mini amplifier, then I recommend you to watch a step by step installation video. You will find the link up here or in the description of the video. According to the manufacturer, the mini amplifier is suitable for speakers up to 40 watts, but I'm using speakers that the output is 120 watts. And of course, the mini amplifier doesn't make the most out of these speakers, but still, the sound is great even at higher volume. Okay, let's listen how the music sounds. The sound quality surprised me all the time. It's very difficult to believe you get such a great sound for just 30 bucks. Moreover, I am very happy with the materials quality. The amp is made of aluminium. The control knobs feel high quality. And nothing about this amp feels cheap like most of the amps in this price range. The design is simple and nice. And it's very easy to use. Even after more than a year, the amp looks and works like brand new. If you love orders as I do, then you can connect the amp to the table and easily hide the cables. The amplifier has output for headphones with standard connection of 3.5 mm. You can listen to music from your speakers and from your headphones at the same time. To listen to music only from your headphones, lower down the volume until the end. The only disadvantage that I found in the Lepai LP2020A is that you don't have dedicated volume control for your headphones. So if you want to change the volume in your headphones, you have two options. The first one is to change the volume in your device, like your computer or your smartphone. The second option is to use headphones with volume control. If you want to see step-by-step -step tutorial how to assemble the mini amplifier, watch the next video.